Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents and Merry Christmas and welcome to my home. We're gonna do a little decor and warmer tour. Come in to my front door with Merry Christmas. And this year I chose kind of a colonial theme with all the oranges and the red bows and everything. It's beautiful. So welcome to my home. Come into the front door. And here we have my front room, which is all farmhousey, and we'll do the warmer tour and the trees. So here is an old piece from the House of Denmark. My favorite reindeer, his name is Ferdinand. We've had him for forever. If you've ever read the storybook about Ferdinand the Bull, something about this one just reminds me of that storybook character. Over here, my director gifted me this beautiful warmer, Treetops Glisten, which I think is still available in the holiday collection. This is my main tree. This is going to be holly and plaid this year. It is uh, flocked, seven and a half foot. This I've had for a long time, this beautiful snowflake star. That's my favorite little angel that I've had since I was a little girl. And I like to do my trees almost like an I spy game. I jam them full of all sorts of goodies. So you can see all sorts of woodland creatures and those little houses light up at night. And I love icicles and my daughter's penguin and reindeer antlers and everything. So over here, we have a couple of cute little farmhousey moments. I have Merry Christmas and some lights and some cranberry beads tucked into a bowl. Couldn't find a place for my beautiful real poinsettia. So he's kind of hiding at the moment, keeps it out of the way of my dogs. So up here, is my mantle with another one of my favorite little plaid reindeer and that thing took me forever. I don't know if you have that problem but sometimes a certain decor element just drives you nuts and you have to do it over and over and over again. Now here is Merry Christmas on my little couch. Cute little piece. I actually got this from Myers. So and what we call my yak stool. My family teases me about it but I love it. So this is my front room for Christmas of 2021. So we'll go through. Oh, and I forgot to show you my deer. I really love deer. So I got this from Peacock Antiques down the road and he's actually here all year and I will change his bow tie and other things as we go throughout the year. So into my dining room. This is where I typically film most things because it has decent lighting and a nice quiet little corner. So we have a pretty swag up here. I get a lot of things from a local shop called Heavenly Scent and a lot of the goodies in there are from that. I have a few real plants because my younger daughter has taught me that you can actually keep a plant alive, mom. So, you know, I like to change this out occasionally. Well, more than occasionally, probably about once a week or two when I get bored. Then over here, uh, we just did another video about Christmas goodies. And I said it was November the 29th, or I meant to, I actually said it was December the 29th. It's November the 29th today. This is coming out December 1st. So forgive my mess up on the uh, dates for the sales and things. If you're watching this video right after my family Christmas favorites, it's November the 29th. So into here, this is the Florida room, and this is just the happiest room. We get to see the change of seasons. It's a three seasons room, so we really can only use it uh, part of the year. I made this garland out of something, honestly, from Walmart, and then I just put all sorts of goodies in it. Lots of details. I wanted this room to feel kind of Scandinavian and Bohemian. Got those from Menards. They look like they float at night because they light up, they're beautiful. Come down here. We have a little set of singing snowmen uh, to remind me of my mother. She loves snowmen and things that light up and sing and dance. Over here, we have a little woodland creatures moment and you can see all the different evergreen bars from one of our videos today. Then you guys already saw me decorate this particular tree. The quality of the video wasn't very good, so forgive me for that. But this is my bohemian oranges and eucalyptus tree and it has all the straw ornaments and everything, and it's been a lot of fun to have out here. So, cool lamp that I got from Peacock. Cute little 
nook over here where I have another one of my favorite Christmas warmers. This was Scentsy's Christmas collection of 2020. I forgot what it was called, but if you find that somewhere, I would definitely tell you to pick it up at a garage sale or some other kind of a place where you can get some Scentsy things that are no longer in production. So back into my dining room. This is my red hutch from Ikea, and I love to decorate this thing. My kids said, Mom, don't overdo it this year. So I tried to do a nice, elegant, simple arrangement. Simple is so hard for me. I always have to try to do too much. So there are all sorts of goodies on here. Hearth and hand mugs and different things I've collected over the years. And I love little birds, all things woodland. So my dad made that. Uh, sconce the beautiful little calendar which we'll start using on December 1st. Down here one of my favorite warmers from this year is this little mini from Scentsy. I love how it gives you a snowflake there. It's so cute. I believe that's called the Spirit of Joy and it's still available. So this is the dining room and my dad actually made this. It goes with the sconce. So this really cool light is something that my engineering father took on as a challenge and I love it. So now let's go into the kitchen. I don't normally show you guys the kitchen cause it's not very exciting. We live in a little ranch, but uh, we did repaint and we refinished the cabinets and had the scripture painted by a local artist and we love it. And over here, these are still currently available, I believe, and the evergreen and grapefruit dish soap is fantastic. And I have a mini warmer over here. I usually put a mini in the kitchen. This is uh, the pine for plaid. I love this one almost as much as the spirit of joy. And then I have a thing with greens. These are from the backyard with some cute little candy canes. And you know, everybody's kitchen is functional, right? So that's pretty much what we've got going on. And again, here's the back side of my tree and the mantle. Now we're going to go down to the basement for a moment. So let's see. I've got a very large room down here. We just repainted all of this. It used to be kind of a, a muddy yellow, so it's a little nicer. So here's your first moment of seeing the basement. All the way down to the end where we have the fireplace. Over here. My folks have this beautiful old mid-century bar that now holds lots and lots of my Scentsy goodies. Cute little reindeer and just a really cool mirror. This is a pantry and I like to decorate everything. So even the pantry had to get itself a Christmas garland. Over here is my newest addition to the Reindeer Rescue Society, otherwise known as Elizabeth's addiction to buying figurine reindeer. We got that at uh, somebody's big old pole barn in the back for free. So we just keep using that down here as kind of a room divider-esque thing. And I have an old shelf from Ikea. No, not Ikea. This one's House of Denmark. It's been a while. Uh, Glory to the Newborn King. I love just the little vignette moments. The warmer that was uh, Sensi's August warmer of the month this year. I love that one. And just all sorts of little cute things. I really wanted to do some buffalo plaid down here with the new paint job. The uh, eucalyptus -y, I forgot the name of it. Oh, Sage Advice, the new Sage, uh, like a seeded eucalyptus type thing. My sister-in-law is teasing me about my snaky beads there. I guess those are kind of a new item and they're hard to make work, except for the advanced experienced user. So shout out to you, Melissa. I guess I'm an expand, a advanced experienced user of the snaky beads. So over here, I have honestly never done a Christmas tree this busy, but people have liked it. So this is my truly farmhouse, totally jam packed with goodies, homage to plaid, buffalo check, black and white, everything. And it's quite glitzy. And that goes with the mantle. And I do love my reindeer. This is my uh, favorite birch reindeer. So some people collect Santas, some people collect snowmen. I guess I collect reindeer. And then I really liked this sign. I got this at Michael's a couple years ago and I put a gigantic farmhouse bow on the lantern to go with everything. And really 
there's not a lot left. My uh, funny pillows. Some people have been poking fun at them as though they are diseased, but I think they're cute with their little pom-poms and what I call my, uh, my moss reindeer here. And I hope that you guys have a really, truly peaceful Christmas and that the peace of Christ will rule and reign in your hearts and that you've enjoyed our warmer and home decor tour for Christmas 2021. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.